Hospitali kuu ya Kinyata yajitokeza na kukanusha madai kuwa baadhi ya kina mama wagonjwa katika hospitali hiyo wamebakwa. Petition of the Speaker of Migori County on 31st August 2017 declaring the first respondent the winner and therefore the speaker is hereby declared null and void. Speaker wa bunge la county ya Migori apoteza kiti chake baada ya mahakama kuharamisha ushindi wake. Inaitwa gari ya kuweza kuzima moto kwa sababu wananchi wengi wanapata hasara. Moto mkubwa wasababisha hasara ya mamilioni ya fedha mjini Kisii, county kilaumiwa kushinda kudhibiti mikasa. Na katika darubini ya siasa tuna tathmini siasa za NASA na Jubilee miongoni mwa mambo mengine. Na mtazamaji popote ulipo natumai jioni yako inakuendea vema siku hii ya Ijumaa ikiwa ni tarehe 19. Mwezi ukiwa ni wa Januari mwaka 2018 hujambo mtazamaji mpendo wa karibu kwenye taarifa zetu za dira ya wiki siku hii ya Ijumaa ambapo tunakwenda na wewe hadi mwendo wa saa mbili tukiangazia taarifa kuu na vile vile mahojiano iwe ni masuala ya kisiasa na hata masuala ya kijamii. Mimi naitwa Ali Manzu hizi ndizo taarifa zetu na zinaanza hivi sasa. Hospitali kuu ya Kinyata imejitokeza kukana madai ya visa vya kubakwa kwa kina mama ambao wanaonyonyesha katika hospitali hiyo. Hii ni baada ya jumbe kutamba mitandaoni tangu hapo jana kutoka kwa watu mbalimbali mbali ambao wanaokiri kufanyiwa vitendo hivyo na wahudumu katika hifadhi ya maiti katika hospitali hiyo. Akizungumza na wanahabari mda mchache uliopita afisa mkuu mtendaji Lili Koros alisema kwamba hakuna thibitisho la madai yanayopenyezwa. Vile vile viongozi kadhaa hapa jijini Nairobi wametoa hisia zao kuhusu kashfa hiyo. We wish to state that there is no mother or patient that has reported to have been raped or an attempted rape at Kenyatta National Hospital. Kenyatta National Hospital has 24 hour CCTV surveillance in the lifts and along the corridors to all the wards including the new unit. Besides, there is security team including uniformed officers who oversee the safety and security of patients in the hospital during the day and night. Furthermore, breastfeeding for uh, preterm babies is scheduled. And considering that mothers are in numbers, that tells you that they usually move in groups. And I want to clarify this, they move in groups not because of the security but because of the scheduled timings. And we have almost 100 mothers in the hospital. Mortuary attendants as well are uniformed, operate in pairs and collect bodies as guided by a, a, a coordinating office that receives reports on any deaths during the night. The mortuary attendants use service lifts which are separate from the lifts that are used by patients and clients. Zaidi ya wafanyi biashara 400 wamepata hasara mjini Kisi baada ya moto mkubwa kuzuka na kuteketeza mali yao inayokadiriwa kuwa ya mamilioni ya pesa. Moto huo unakisiwa kuwa ulisababishwa na hitilafu za nguvu za umeme katika kibanda kimoja. Zima moto kutoka kaunti ya Kisi walifika mahala hapo na kujaribu kudhibiti moto huo lakini tayari wafanyabiashara wengi walikuwa wameathirika. Wakazi katika eneo hilo wameitaka kaunti kutafuta mbinu mpya ili kukabiliana na majanga yanapotokea. Nimeshukuru sana ushirikiano wa wananchi. Kwa kweli wananchi unajitahidi sana. 
kuokoa mali za watu lakini tungeomba iletwe gari ya kuweza kuzima moto kwa sababu wananchi wengi wanapata hasara manake wengi wa wafanyabiashara hapa wana mkopo wamekopa hela sasa hatujui jinsi gani watarudisha hii hela ya mkopo kwa hiyo tungeshauri serikali wasaidie walete gari ya kuweza kuzima moto manake imekuwa ni janga kubwa sana Kenya nzima haifai kama county mzima tunakosa vitu za kusaidia wananchi ushuru tunatoa lakini wakati wa mashida ikitokea tunakosa hata wazima moto hakuna gari Waziri wa masuala ya ndani ambaye ndiye kaimu waziri wa elimu daktari Fred Matiangi amelaumu mfumo wa elimu kwa kudorora kwa viwango vya elimu ya juu Matiangi amependekeza wahadhiri kutia saini mikataba ya utenda kazi. Alikuwa akizungumza hayo kwenye chuo kikuu cha Strathmore hapa Nairobi kwenye shughuli ambayo iliyoandaliwa kwa heshima ya msomi Tajika Kalestas Juma. We are going towards a point where we don't have an option but to relook at the structure and the expansion of university education in Kenya. It is not expansion, it's called massification. We created things some of them that are uh, worse than a glorified high school just because we wanted to have the term university. When you go in there and find out what we are teaching, it's a joke in the process. That is not how we are going to develop our country. Well, courage is needed, boldness is necessary. Time is here for us to live right and do the things that we must do correctly. If you cannot run, so if we have been running universities, how come we have those kinds of failures at the Kenya School of Law? How come the uh, ERB, the Engineers Registration Board, is screaming about the people we are turning out? How is it that the Kenya Private Sector Association has been having conversations with me about the quality of graduates we are turning who are going to the market? Many of you must have seen the employment survey that was uh, done the other day supported by DFID, what it says about the employability of Kenyan graduates and so on. There is data, there is science, there is no reason why we have knowledge, we know what the truth is, and we keep pretending about some of these things. Viongozi wa NASA Raila Odinga na Kalonzo Musyoka wanaendelea kushinikizwa kuapishwa kuwa rais na watu ama na Wakenya na hata pia katika taarifa kwenye mkutano ambao uliofanywa mapema leo huko Machakos wa kuhamasisha watu kuhusu bunge la wananchi wanasiasa wa NASA waliwataka viongozi hao kutoyumbishwa kuhusu swala la kuapishwa katika hafla hiyo Raila Odinga alisisitiza kuwa mpango wa kuapishwa mwishoni mwa mwezi huu bado ungalipo Jua. Vile wa Kenya walipiga kura. Uhuru alipata ngapi? Na Raila na Kalonzo walipata ngapi? Sawa sawa? Ndio sababu tukiongea tukisema tulishinda. Tuna uhakika hakuna wasiwasi au tashwishi wote. Tunasema ukweli. Na karibu sisi tutatoa tutaonyesha kwamba sisi tulishinda ni sababu tunasema tunaenda na ile matokeo ya tarehe nane mwezi wa nane. hiyo ndio uchaguzi kwa nini wizi wa kura 2007 mimi mwenyewe nilikuwa candidate mnajua hivyo Raila alikuwa candidate kibaki akawa candidate kura ikaibiwa kwani wakati wa kujua hata kuiba kwa kompyuta waliibia Raila live live <laughs> nikaja nikajua kumbe ilikuwa wizi wakati tumeingiliana akavumilia that's why i kept on saying my brother raila has a very big heart 2013 wakaibia kalonzo na raila si ni kweli simulijitokeza kabisa tukasema kwa mahakama supreme court supreme court ikatoa uamuzi tukasema atukubaliani na wao lakini tunaheshimu uamuzi wao kwa sababu we are under the constitution. Sasa tulikuwa tukidhani sasa wamejifunza. Wacha sasa viparanga wa kompyuta waingie. Kwingineko mahakama kuu katika kaunti ya Migori imefutilia mbali kuchaguliwa kwa spika wa kaunti hiyo na naibu wake. Jaji wa mahakama hiyo Hilary Chemitei amesema kuwa uchaguzi wa spika ambao uliofanywa tarehe 31 mwezi Agosti mwaka jana ulikumbwa na ghasia zilizosababishwa na vijana ambao waliovamia ukumbi wa kaunti hiyo na kuhitilafiana na hesabu ya kura. 
Mahakama hiyo imeamuru uchaguzi mpya kufanyika ukiwa na wagombeaji wawili ambao ni spika wa sasa Boaz Okoth na Marwa Kerio aliyekuwa mshindani wake wa karibu. Uchaguzi huo pia utasimamiwa na msajili wa mahakama ya Migori. Uchaguzi wa naibu wa spika unaotafanyika siku saba baada ya uchaguzi wa spika kulingana na mahakama hiyo. Akizungumza na wanahabari nje ya mahakama wakili wa mlalamishi Kennedy Bosire amesema kuwa mteja wake Kereria Kiraria Marwa amefurahishwa na uamuzi huo. The court has given a judgment. We are happy with the judgment. They have the court has uh, actually uh, gone ahead to cancel the elections of the, of the speaker, having been found to be null and void. Now the court has ordered we shall go uh, go back through the help of the deputy registrar to have the elections uh, done again properly. We do not have a problem with the verdict of the court. We will only go back to elections. That now depends on the clerk, not me. Within 14 days, whatever the clerk will say, even if it is today in the evening, even if it is Monday or Tuesday, it is within and that depends on the clerk's verdict. Sisi kama watu walio chaguliwa na wanaichi, ambao pia wamechaguliwa watu wengi bungeni, mimi ni kiongena nge kwa niaba ya walio wengi bungeni. Nasama ya kwamba, wale watu walio wengi bungeni, wanaahidi kusimama pamoja na mwishimiwa boa zokoth kuwa speaker wa migori. Hapu hakuna wasiwasi, tutasimama kidete, and we shall confirm our work. Na mtazamaji basi baada kupata taarifa hizo naomba nipumue kidogo tu kutukijiandaa tayari wageni wangu wamewasili studio kuchukua mjadala ambao tulio nao leo kuhusiana na siasa ambayo imekuwa siku ama katika wiki hii tutaangazia pande zote hususan tukiangazia shinikizo zinazotolewa za kuapishwa kwa Raila Odinga na naibu wake Kalonzo Musyoka je uapisho huu ni wa aina gani mtazamaji na athari zake ni zipi tayari wa geni wangu wamewasili hapa studio tutakuwa ni wenye kuendeleza mjadala huu pia na tukiangalia pia kilichotokea bungeni hususan upande wa jubilee haya yote ni kwenye muda usiokuwa mrefu endelea kuwa nasi